Hi guys, so there's been a lot of videos lately about farming decorations on an event quest in the Harfrost area, so I decided to check it out. This quest is named Flora Frostbite. It's a quest you can just complete under a minute and get a chance to roll level 4 decorations. Easy. And there's been two sets of armor that people have been using. First is the Kieran armor for the great luck bonus, which increases quest rewards, but the skills are the most important thing here. Botanist doubles the amount of items you gather from those ice blooms, Geologist makes you gather an extra time, and Master Gatherer makes you gather faster, and not easily interrupted by small monsters. That's all. The other setup is the Astral armor. Same skills, but the bonus is more inclined to getting VIP tickets. So, after fixing up my set, I decided to get an SSD immediately so that I can farm all my decos faster than a goddamn speedrunner. I'm kidding. I did 8 runs on that quest with the Astro setup and the Kirin setup, a total of 16 runs, and I hate the results. Okay, now here's why it's kind of bad to just do that quest all over and over again in hopes of getting good decorations. In an LBG, HBG user's perspective. You can check this out if ever you're not an LBG, HBG person. You can check this website out at mhworldronico.com slash decorations, which is here. Then check Ancient Face Stone out. Look at these drop rates, alright? As you can see in some decorations, Ancient Face Stones don't drop them, alright? They don't drop them. So let's go to the level 4 decorations. So the level 2 and level 1, level 3, they don't matter. So let's go to the level 4 decorations. Look at this. It's it's 0.65% drop rate. And these are jewels that you won't even need in an LBG HPG perspective. No, you wouldn't need it. What would we need? We need artillery, right? Okay, we need artillery. Artillery jewel plus 4. This is good. It drops at the 0.65% chance. That's actually good because let's make this as a basis an attack jewel has the highest chance of dropping with warp face stones so an attack jewel has a 0.3 percent 0.30 percent chance of dropping from a warp face stone so let's make that a basis and you know how rare it is to get an attack jewel right it's, it's freaking rare so so there Make that as a basis and maybe yeah the artillery plus four can be good to get from here but i still advise against it but look at these things blaze jewel stream jewel frost jewel bolt jewel plus four these are jewels that are important for lbg elemental setups especially with the silver rathalos silver rathalos armor and look at the drop rates you got 0 0.28 0 0.28 some are even 0.19 where the statist ammos are 0.19 but that doesn't matter but what matters are these jewels it's 0.28 percent on an ancient face stone so you know what you're dealing with you're trying to get you're trying to get jewel a jewel it's like you're trying to get a jewel that's harder than an attack jewel to get so it's up to you it's up to you really how to do that so since the best way of still achieving these things are on the other base stones, as you can see here. And of course, the recent patch, of course, if you're hunting monsters on the other face stones, they increase the drop rate of these things. So it's not good to farm them in that quest. It's better to just go out there and hunt it. So these are the important jewels for LBG and HBG. You got the, the elementals and you got the artillery I mentioned a while ago. Earplugs, they don't even drop there. They don't. But attack jewel plus 4, they don't. Expert jewel plus 4, they don't. They would never appear. Potential, uh, even... Uh, uh, do we have the vitality jewels? Uh, let's let's look on the release jewels, alright? I'll show you here. Release, if they drop. Do they drop? Oh, some drop. Fortitude release. Does that, does that ever occur in another build? Maybe. Rarely. But look at the drop rate. It's 0.09 yeah it's like finding a needle in a haystack okay iron wall release something that's always used in cheese hbg setups nada you won't get it you won't get it and also vitality we, we always we always uh run health boost right although you can get garden release but not really that much use in cheese hbg setups not much so we go to vitality okay the vitality jewels yes they drop but then again 
I'm telling you, look at the drop rate. It's 0.09%. What is the drop rate of an attack jewel? Let's scroll back right here. You guys just have an idea. Wait. There. The drop rate of an attack jewel is 0.3%. And you're trying to find a jewel that's that would look rarer than an attack jewel, guys. Okay? So I hope that clears things up. And this quest is actually just good for, you know, building up your farm. If you messed up your farm and you got to get those uh, those fertilizers out, go for that quest. But if you're going to repeat it for like an hour, I suggest doing another method. Now that you've seen the data, you might be asking, heck, I have an SSD on my console. I can just load fast and keep doing it. So yeah, I tried to do eight quests as fast as I can, and it took me around 18 minutes. I have a Samsung Evo SSD, and in that 18 minutes, I should have killed like three Kirins or Teostras or maybe four Savage Joes, and had like a lot of better rolls on level 11 decos. So if you don't have an SSD, you're not missing out that much, man. Now, for research points, I didn't even get much. Sometimes in the quest you get less than a thousand, and sometimes you get a little bit more than a thousand. Still not efficient. If you want to grind for research points, there's the video I made way back, base game, and people still find it helpful. Link will be at the description below. I'm pretty sure Guiding Lance is a thing too for research points, uh, so you might want to look into that. So the conclusion, quest is good for setting up your fertilizers if you, you know, mess up your farm. Go do a different approach for research points. Loading times, going through those loading times is not worth it. Kirin setup doesn't matter. It's all luck indeed. So I suggest going for the astral setup to have a better chance for VIP tickets. But still, you just get one per quest completion if ever. And you need like 10 to mail the gold ticket. You seriously think it's okay for you? Okay. Console SSDs are still kicked in the nuts by PC load times. So that's about it guys. If the video helped, drop a like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch and join the Discord. Links are at the description below. I do open lobby sessions and the fam keeps on growing. See you in the next one.